Hi, my name is Christopher Groh. I'm the Director of Faith Formation over at St. Joseph Parish in Key West, where we're going to have the confirmation for you guys on Wednesday, July 8th at 7 p.m. Now, instead of having you guys come in for a rehearsal, we're gonna just have this quick video for you to watch and kinda know what's gonna go on so you're not totally lost when you get here. Uh, so, you come into church and we'll ask that you follow our coronavirus guidelines just for everybody's health and safety, all of our parishioners and for your family. Uh, and kinda what that looks like, we'll ask that you wear a mask, We'll ask that when you receive communion, we would ask you to receive it on your hand. Uh, we'll also have music, but we ask that you do not sing along with it. You can hum along, or you can just let the lyrics lift your mind up to the heavenly mysteries that we're going to be celebrating at Mass. Also, we're going to ask that you limit uh, the number of people that come, so it'll be you, the person to be confirmed, your sponsor, and then both of your parents, so that's four people. Uh, and no more than that, so not even siblings and extended families. We're limited on our space here. So again, those are our, our safety precautions. We'd ask that you follow those. So Mass will start at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, July 8th. We'd ask that you be here at 640, uh, 645. Get here a little bit early. And when you come in, use the hand sanitizer and find your pew. If you go over to, uh, you'll see your names taped to the top of the pew, so you'll know which pew you're in to sit. There'll be kind of like assigned seating. Uh, and there will be a couple of people up front, uh, so the lucky few who get to come up close. And it will be live streamed for those who are not able to come. At least, I'm pretty sure it will be. You can go to stjosephkeywest.com. And then we, there's a little tab up top that says coronavirus. And underneath it, it has a, a link to our live streams. And your family and friends who are not able to come should be able to watch it from there. Now, so Mass will kind of start as normal. And then after the homily, so we'll go through the Liturgy of the Word, homily will come, and then we'll have the Rite of Confirmation. And Father will stand up. And instead of saying the creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, uh, so we won't say the creed, we'll actually do the renewal of baptismal promises. And the proper response to those is, I do. And you should say them loudly and boldly, because you are renewing your baptismal promises. And do you actually believe those things? That's what we're asking you. Do, do you believe all of this? Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Do you reject Satan and all of his evil works? So the response is, yes, I do, I do that. Because then at the end, the priest will say, this is our faith. This is our faith in Jesus Christ. And we'll all say, amen, which means I believe. Yes, it is. It is. So we're affirming our faith, preparing our hearts by affirming our faith to receive this sacrament of confirmation. Because again, we can do nothing to obtain the sacrament of confirmation. We can't do anything to grasp at it. God is going to freely give it to us through the priest in the sacrament. So... Now we've started these rites, uh, we, knew, we, we renewed our baptismal promises. Now the priest will ask everybody, to, I don't know if he's going to ask everybody to kneel or just the confirmation students, but just listen to what he says, he'll tell us. So we'll kneel down and he'll invite the parents and sponsors to pray for the students and then he'll extend his hands and he'll pray over them, asking the Holy Spirit to send down the gifts, uh, to fill their heart, um, to impress the seal of the Holy Spirit on all of you students. So he, this is the laying on of hands. Then after the laying on of hands, he'll go around with the anointing. So you'll be anointed with chrism oil, which that's the oil that smells amazing. And it's a symbol of the Holy Spirit. So not only is it a symbol, it also causes the Holy Spirit to come about. Because again, God is doing this. He's freely coming to you through this anointing. So the Father will go around, and this is kind of what that's going to look like. So we've got a couple of uh, actresses to help us out and show what this, this rite will look like. We've got our confirmation student sitting at the end of the pew, our sponsor right behind them, and then we've got the two parents sitting on the, on the far side. After the prayer of the laying on of hands, I will come down from the sanctuary, and after the prayer, after the laying on of hands, I'll give you instructions to open up your alcohol wipe that you will each have in your pew, and to wipe your forehead with your alcohol wipe. And then Chris will come with me and the chrism, and I will have an individual cotton ball for each person. I will dip the cotton ball in the chrism, and I will, be, and I will say, Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And your answer will be, Amen. Amen. And if you'll notice, the sponsors got their hand on the shoulder, and they're holding up the 
card with the name of the confirmation student's confirmation name on it. Now, normally, there would be a sign of peace that takes place afterwards. We will still do the sign of peace without shaking hands. So I will say to you, the Lord be with you, and you will respond. And with your spirit. And with your spirit, perfectly. Then you, Chris will follow behind me and take the cotton ball. I will move on to the next one, and we will continue the right in that fashion. Did you get all that? It's pretty easy. A couple of things to note. We would ask that everybody sits in that order. So you'll have the confirmation student towards the middle, the sponsor, and then the parents. So that way it's an easy transition. When you all stand up and go to the end of the pew and father walks down the middle aisle, he can just confirm everybody with the sponsor right behind him. We would ask confirmation students that you address appropriately. Uh, we would ask that your shoulders are covered so that when your sponsor um, lays a, puts a hand on the shoulder, they don't have to touch your bare skin. Uh, we would also ask that, uh, guys, you'd wear pants. We don't, you don't want shorts. Women, um, you can wear dresses or skirts, but you will be kneeling, so just make sure it's comfortable and long enough so that you're not <laughs> uncomfortable. Um, and then after that, you, you will be confirmed. The Holy Spirit will have impressed a seal on your heart. You will have a new character in your soul, a new way in which God relates to you. Because he's giving you this extra overflowing abundant grace of the Holy Spirit and the gifts that the Holy Spirit gives. So that you now have rights and duties as a Christian to go out into the world and to do things, to act as ministers, lectors, and extraordinary ministers of the Holy Eucharist. And to be able to be, uh, to be uh, godparents to other children. So you now have this, these new rights and duties in the church. So you'll be confirmed. Uh, Mass will continue as normal. Uh, for the reception of Holy Eucharist, we would ask that you would follow all the signs. So we've got these little stickers at the bottom of the pews. And they're little arrows saying, stand here. So when you get out to receive communion, we'd ask that you would follow that and stand six foot apart at every one of those little stickers. Um, so that way we're not all bunching up in a line. We want to try to maintain that physical distancing. And it'll just kind of be like normal. The people up front will get out to go receive communion, and then the people behind them will just kind of wait, maintain that six foot, six foot distance. So, receive Holy Communion. When we reach the end of the Mass, we'll all clap and congratulate you on your confirmation and having received this great grace from God. And then you'll be able to go home or take pictures or uh, celebrate however that looks like for you and your family. So again, we'll see you around 640, 645 here at St. Joseph in Key West on Wednesday, July 8th. Uh, make sure your sponsors come with you. Uh, if your sponsor's not able to make it that day or they live way out of town or something, give me a call uh, or yeah, call the office at St. Joseph and some, or email me, somehow get a hold of me, Christopher Grow. You'll find my information on the St. Joseph website. Um, oh yeah, and the cards, the names that for the confirmation students that the sponsors will be holding in the middle of the confirmation rite, we'll have those written out in your pews ready for you so you don't have to worry about bringing those. And I think that should be it. Yeah, it's easy enough. You guys will do well. I'll certainly be praying for you. And we'll see you on Wednesday, July 8th. Christ, peace.